Busted Couch. Thank you for joining me, and this is my initial impressions video for Proteus. Now Proteus, from what I hear, is basically a wander around and look at these things kind of game. So it's more of a Nazi kind of thing. So I'm about to find out. Uh, the game is by Ed Key and David Kanaga, as it says right there. And click on the island to begin, is what it says. So, um, before we do that, we're just going to go through the options menu. So, you can go through the options here. Um, you can change all this stuff, turning speed, and controls. So, there's that. And graphics, so you can track, you know, change from full screen to window. Um, you can do... Uh, you know your resolution, field of view, which is nice. FOV is got is great. Um, I'm actually gonna increase that. Uh, extra long draw distance is good. Crosshairs don't need them. Uh, and then other, which is just out of focus mode. So if it's put in the background, it'll automatically pause and be muted. Uh, and then your audio just have master volume level, not set. So anyway. Not really too much to go through there. Uh, you can go credits and help, which I would imagine are just some sort of tutorial, and of course the credits are who made the game. Anyway, Proteus, let us jump to the island. So I guess it randomly generates an island, which is pretty cool. So you'll have a different experience every time. Now, from what I hear, this game is basically, you know, an acid trip. So we'll see. We'll see. We will see. All right. So I am using a 360 controller, so um, it does work with a controller, which is a lot easier when I'm sitting on this couch than using the keyboard and mouse. And so, yeah. Alright. It's very floaty. Okay. And everything you look at has a different sound, from what I hear. Let us explore! I found the pathway. This game is almost making me a little wheezy, or queasy rather. Not wheezy, what the hell? Um, oh, we found some chickens! Get back here! Get back here, chickens. I want to eat you. For some reason, I feel like these chickens would taste like cotton candy if I ate them. What's this? Nothing. Got some interesting sound effects. want to go. Oh, oh. Let's go to that tower. There are towers. There are a couple towers. What's that? There's trees over there. I wonder if you can actually die from jumping off a cliff in this. I'm not after cotton candy trees. I'm just imagining that's what this is. That that's what these are. Now, is this a ruin? Is this an old house? It's like ruined, or is it a giant tree trunk? There's no doorway. Wait, what's... 
Something's making a noise. Oh! What's that? Oh. Come back. You were making music. I feel like I need to be under the influence of some sort of drug. runs away from you. There's no run button either, so you can't just run. It's over here. So basically, this is like, explore, find stuff. Like, is this a graveyard? It looks like a graveyard. Chickens. Cotton candy chickens. These chickens sound nicer. Is there a day-night cycle in this game? I feel like there is. Maybe it's like Minecraft when, you know, when night finally hits. The demons come out. What's up? What sound do you make? Statues of samurais or something. You a samurai? What's this? Tombstone? Looks like a tombstone on the top of a mountain. Is that the moon coming up? Or. Okay, that's the sun going down. So it's the moon coming up. This is kind of messed, but yeah. So, see what happens at night. Stars come out. It's actually pretty nice. It's really weird as I move that, like, the stars rotate. Alright. Well. There's a giant tree here, and let's see what's up. No cotton candy for me, though. Oh, I got fireflies. There's a giant tree. Everything makes a, a musical note. What's in here? Am I going there? No. It's a giant tree right there. There's rain clouds coming in. Stars are at full brightness now. Um, this is more like a relaxation thing. Like, explore, relax, don't... Uh, don't have to worry about things attacking you or anything like that. You're just trying to find, like... Like, anything that makes a, a new noise, essentially. Oh, it's, it's kind of calming. It's peaceful. It's nice. I think this would be, like, a great stress relief for people under high tension to just, like, find uh, a game like this and explore a world without, you know, the stresses of survival or or warding off enemies, you know, stuff like that. No, it could be, you know, the complete opposite. Someone might, you know, come home from work and just want to kill everything, but... It's like, what's this thing making the cute noises? Kill it! I'm not sure if there are people out there that are like, yeah, probably. 
down here. There's even like little reflections off the water. Like it looks really nice for like the simplicity of it. Got another tree over here, a large cotton candy tree. And some more fireflies. More clouds coming in. I wonder if there's tornadoes in this game. Probably not, but... Like, I don't get an uneasiness in this game at all. Like, in Minecraft, I would get such a feeling of uneasiness uh, when exploring places because it's like, ugh. Like, I, I didn't really like Minecraft that much. Okay, I did, but... It's one of those things where if I play that game, then you would not be getting this video or any of the other things that I do because I would be completely uh, encapsulated by that game. It would destroy my life. Now we're in the rain. Does the rain make noise? No musical notes, but it does make noise. These are some pretty low clouds. Wait, what's making that noise? What is making that noise? That... Oh, oh. What's that? Getting a little creeped out now because I can't find out what the hell's making that noise. What's up, chickens? Lay some cotton candy eggs for me, yes. Well, I'm sure I could explore this game all day long, but I think people get the gist of it. So you wander around, you explore the world, and that's it. Um, I got this part as part of the uh, Humble Bundle, I believe it was, and I think it's still on, so if you like what you see, you can always go and support charity and check this game out. Um, you can also buy this on Steam. I'll have to double check what the prices are. Um, I believe this one is $9.99. It might be cheaper than that. But I don't think it's more expensive than that. Um, oh, hey, what's up? There you have it. That was Proteus. It is an exploratory, artsy kind of game. Uh, really relaxing and easy to get, you know, easy to just muck around in, but I can see it having a very, I guess, acquired taste. If, if this isn't your thing, of course, I don't expect you to like it or buy it, but um, if it looks good, then definitely support it. It uh, is $9.99 on Steam. Uh, it's not on GOG or anything like that. And right now, uh, if you're watching this as I upload it, it's on the Humble Bundle. So that seems like a thing that you might be interested in. You might want to support charity and pick this up. So anyway, um, thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please hit that like button. If you really enjoyed it, hit the subscribe button and leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Anyway, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.